Okay, today we are going to gear this towards kids because uh, kids are going to be able to learn mud fossils much faster than their parents and the adults. Now, I want to teach you what anatomy is like. And what do you say, what is anatomy? Well, anatomy is how your body is put together. They call that anatomy. A leg is connected to your hips and your foot and so forth. That's your anatomy. Well, what are you looking at here? Every part of you has to be held to the other part of you or you'd fall apart. <laughs> your fingers, you've got a whole bunch of little bits in your fingers. Well, they get connected to each part by what they call a ligament. You see in between there, a bone connects to a bone. You see that? Well, that little ligament is tough, 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 tough times a thousand. And inside, there's a whole bunch of little balls like this, you see? They're in there, and that little strap gets pulled these two bones together, so you never you pull your bones, and they're never going to come apart, because that little thing holds them as tight, as tight, as tight can be, and that is tough, tough. I know I said it before, but it is tough. Now, so what do we got? We got a bone held to a bone by a bunch of little balls on these little straps, right? And here they are. They're all over your body, everywhere. They're attached even on your tummy. They hold your strap to your tummy holes like this with all those little balls sticking in there. Your stomach goes back and forth and pulls this way and that way. And that's the reason you don't come apart. All right, now let's go see what they look like in the giants. Okay, what I want you to look at, remember we had the straps and then we had those balls. Well, normally that ball would be stuck right in there. It wouldn't come out. That is ripped out of there accidentally. That is supposed to hold this whole thing in to right there. And then you can pull this against there. So it would hold it here and you'd be pulling and pulling and that whole thing would move. This would be pulled up by these balls. You following the, the way this works? The strap runs along. The balls go into muscles and bones and when you start pulling on the muscle it pulls everything along with it because that would be anchored to there it pulls it right along like like a, a, a hinge on a door it pulls it right out and that is the mat now I want you to look at that mat and I want you to look at this strap and I want you to think what would happen if that little thing broke off right there All right, what if it broke off right there and that one broke off right there and that one broke off you'd end up with a big flat mat. Let's see if we can find any of those. First of all, we see this guy walking on one of those tendon straps, and there's one of the balls. There's another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. There's another one here, another one here. And all that's where a strap was here, and straps were all over in these areas running down to them. See, that was a strap there, a strap here, and they have eroded away. This was where that mat would have been. Uh, and that has eroded away. But the balls are very, very tough. Usually the straps don't last. They're not as tough as the balls. The balls are tough. Now let's go see if we can find where one of those mats would be. You see what they did with them? They took those those mats and they made walls. That was a strap was attached there and there and there and there and there. And you can see where the... the um, where the organic part was because inside that tube you have to feed that ball with blood and nutrients and nutrients and stuff and that's like inside that little tube it pinches off and it's actually bloody inside there now these little squares and things you say oh that must be they made those special no actually those you're, you're unbelievable, but you're made in little tiny blocks and little tiny layers. It's absolutely fascinating when you see gigantic, gigantic creatures. And then you can look at the bits and pieces and you see how intricate it is. Intricate means it's very, very, a lot of little bitty pieces you never thought before you'd see. We're going to learn a whole lot about your anatomy and about the dirt and about every rock that you pick up. You're going to be able to look at it and say, wow, what is this? And it'll, it'll make your mind just go on fire. You're going to love being able to walk in the woods, driving down the road, looking at the side of the road when you take a walk with your dog. 
you're going to have a fabulous new life. Okay, this is uh, literally a piece of muscle. I ran this way, and these are the fibers. They cut them now and quarry them and sell them as um, slabs for landscaping and countertops and all kinds of things. And this is a kind of blocky muscle look. And you can see it's, it gets extremely detailed when you get into the actual fiber. In the giant creatures we're looking at, these structures here are absolutely enormous, even though we're looking at them in a microscope. That's how intricate muscles can get. These are the little, what they call sarcomeres, that do the little pinching. That's what makes these muscles work. Did you know that your muscles were made like that? And you see in between there, that gives you strength. That's the stuff that's tough. They call that connective tissue. And what does that mean? It connects something to the other part. So your elbow to your shoulder. And in between you have muscles. So you have connective tissues, which are strong, they're tough. Then your muscle's not as tough, but it can pull. And that's what these little pinchers do. Every one of those is a little pincher called sarcomeres. You see that? That's your shoulder. Remember we had all those little tiny balls? They're all in there. And then all those little fibers come out and sooner or later they end up attaching to muscle. Because the muscle what does this. These don't do much. They don't, they don't, they're tough, tough, tough. But they don't pinch. The muscle pinches and then it's held in over here by a bunch more of those little balls. And these are the little straps. And then in between here, you see these white fibers? That's the connective tissue. If you didn't have connective tissue, which is some of this white stuff running through there, it wouldn't be able to, you would have no strength here. You would have no, no, what they call integrity. Integrity means it's strong, it's tough. It's, in, it's got integrity. And if you got integrity, you won't fall apart. And if you don't have, didn't have that integrity here with these connective tissues, everything's tissues. Connective tissue means it connects. Muscle tissues means it's it it's pinches. Now you're going to learn everything there is to know about anatomy because you're going to have to if you're going to be a mud fossil person, and you're going to love it. You will love it because wait till you see what the human body can do. You will be thrilled.